Okay, so right now we have the um, this police. Come on, come on. He doesn't even want to focus. We got these police police officers. I'm going to show you. Try to block my It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Get out of your car. Get out of your car. You're coming to the back of the car. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Working. Yeah, but what? What do you? I mean, what are you doing driving up and down this around me? What are you doing? What are you talking about, sir? I'm talking about what are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. You waved me down. I did, cause you're following me. I'm not well, you're 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 kind of you know I gotta teach you a word. It's called gang flagging. Okay. What? Gang flagging. Gang it's, flagging. Yeah, a gang flagging. It's when crews. It doesn't have to be police. But yeah, okay, get get closer. Get closer. No, I'm Come just on. going right here. Yeah, I know. You're, I, I want you to get closer. I want you to. Okay. Yeah, because it shows me the kind of person that you are. Okay. Okay. So what's a gang flag? A gang flag is when you use your vehicle or your presence to establish a rapport with people and it's typically to target somebody like you're driving around because you know who i am i have no idea i, I know well you're not gonna admit it and that's okay and you know that i have a criminal record i have no you know, idea okay, i know you're not gonna admit that but you're driving around what's your name you know my name i have no idea what's your name what's the, your name the, it's impossible so let me run you, you see you're not letting me criminal. you're not allowing you're not allowing me to speak but what's your name What's my name? Yeah. Yeah. You're not allowing me. You're not allowing me to speak. You got an ID? I don't give you my ID in Texas. Do you understand? Okay. And let you. Yeah. You're not going to get my ID either. Okay. Okay. Well, if, unless you need something from me, I'm gonna go back. Cause you I do need. need it. I do, do need, need. I need you to stop corrupt gang flagging. Sir, you're you're in left field. Okay. Is that is that how you talk to people? Yeah. You're in yeah, left field. Yeah. Is that how you talk to yep, people? Serious. Yeah. Is that how you getting close? Is that is that what you're gonna do? You did within half a foot. Within half a foot. I'm going to your PD tomorrow. Yes, yes. It ain't over here. It's not over here. It's not over yet. I'm coming tomorrow. Yes. You just heard. You just heard. You just heard. You just heard. That's what I thought. Get out of here. Move. I'm gonna park. Are you gonna park? Are you gonna park? You're gonna park? Are you okay? You're gonna you're gonna hit me with your car? Okay, thank you, thank you. You have the right to park. There you go. But that's all you're gonna do. I'm gonna get you. We're gonna go to your PD. I'm gonna go to your PD. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see the other cop? He got him. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Thank you. The other one crossed them over. Did you see that? That crossover is very important. Okay, that's another police officer saying, don't do that. All right? It's very important that we get that on camera, and that's real good. So thank you to the police for doing that. There, here comes another. This is what they produce, these guys. Look at this. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You ain't getting it, Blue Line Gang. You're not getting it, Blue Line Gang. These are the guys. You're going to see the trucks. They're like Blue Line Gang. You see him stopping right here. Thank you. Thank you. Good people. Look, you see? The other one might be not with him. You don't know. You never know who's with who in this mess. You got to be careful. He was getting close. He's a crazy one. He wanted to do it, but he saw like he's not doing anything. Are you threatening me? I didn't say a threat. No, but it's not, it came out like I'm going to go over to your police department. So what is that? Are you threatening me? Yes. But he like, how? He wanted to get a how are you threatening me? No, no, no. I wasn't going to say anything. I don't, I don't commit the crime. I don't commit crime. So you're not going to get me saying something. I'm not going to do anything wrong. That's not going to happen. Don't, don't, don't. If, it, if you ever say, like, I'm going to go over there, that's as easy as saying I'm going to the store tomorrow. If you say something like you're going to commit a crime, a threat is something when you're, you're saying you're going to commit a crime. Then, oh, he can arrest you. Oh, yeah, right on the spot. But. Well, we didn't do that. I just said, he said, are you threatening me? That he saw that. And I just said, yes. 
but well, what kind of threat? That's what he was trying to get to. So it's very important. They couldn't say, well, well he said that he's coming over there. And then you said, are you threatening me? So uh, interesting uh, little verbatim there. And he knew it. He knew it, too. They want to get me on something. But in either case, yeah, the reason why I pulled that out, that gang flagging is because and I did flag him down right there. It's because that's what they do. You've seen it in my previous videos, but you can see the kind of guy. And it was good that he stepped up real close. He got within about half a foot of me. And um, they re and then and then, you know, just so you could see why they do that, because they're already bad guys and we're just busting them out. And then after that, he's like, because uh, I was standing right here on the curb. I wasn't in I wasn't on top of the concrete. I was out in the street a little bit. But this is a parking spot right here. It's not a street. Uh, you can see there's a business they pull, they pull in there. And then he was like, uh, move because he wasn't fully pulled in. He wanted to like as kind of establish that he was going to park there now to make me move because I was standing in front. So I said, well, I do need to move. I can't block him. You can't block somebody uh, from parking. So this is the parking spot right here. And you can see the parking lanes. I was standing right here, not not on not on this. I was standing there on the uh, right where right after the uh, concrete where where the tar is at. I was standing in the street, but it's a parking spot. He has a right to pull his car into the parking spot. So I was standing about right here and over a little bit back. You, you can't block him from doing that. Uh, whether he's a cop or a person, they have a right of way on in the businesses and on these streets to, to park. They have a right to park. So I I step back for him, but then he takes off like, whoom, because he just wanted me to do that, like to get me back. But it, the main thing is to show you. And then when he did that, the other police officer met him. And was like, no, don't do that. Like, stop. Like, you can feel it. It's a power exchange. It's happening. And um, it, I, I'm not the only one who feels this. Law enforcement know about it. People on the street, regular people, you know, like if um, you meet somebody in your household, it could be your brother or sister, they throw something back at you and you dodge it. And then you throw something or whatever, hits them on the note, whatever it be, like a sock or something. Like, there's a power exchange. Here it comes. Come on, look. We're still here. We're still here. Looking, looking. Come on over. Yeah, come on over. Let's see what you can get. You see? You see? Come on. Come on. Nobody's afraid. Nobody's afraid. You see? He's trying to get it back because they got him. I don't, I'm not sure that's the same cop. Can't see him. But this is what they're doing. So we're not doing bad here. We're not messing around. This isn't something where... Um, you know, you're picking on cops. Oh, no, no, no. We're not picking on cops. We're picking out bad cops. That's what we're doing. And we're highlighting them. So how do I pick them out? Because uh, they flag, they gang flag. Uh, that means they're establishing a supremacist control. So it's pretty easy to, to see that they're doing something corrupt, which is they're basically driving through cities telling people, don't go around him. Don't be around him. He's a threat. This, this, and that. That's why I mentioned my criminal record. I don't know that. I don't know this and that. And um, that's what they're that's what they're doing. So um, the um, the main thing is, uh, yeah, I can flag him down. That, that's okay because I'm gonna I'm gonna find out who he is off the off the beat. Like when once he comes out of the truck, and I'm gonna show the public the type of guy that's inside that car. Because anyone, they can just drive around and be like, oh, I was just driving around the area. But what we're trying to establish is the lack of control over power. They're corrupt. So um, that's very dangerous for a police officer to use his vehicle to gang stalk and ostracize a person. To drive around and say, don't go near them. They're a threat. Because here's what happens. He may leave, but the people he's doing that to, they'll, they'll attack you. People will hurt you. That's police power saying... This man's a threat. He's dangerous, which is absolutely untrue. I mean, I'm a free citizen. I have nothing wrong. I'm doing nothing wrong. And they're trying to basically assassinate my character. So now you see all these trucks doing this. They're starting to parade through here. This is not normal because I was just over here. You could have seen, if you rewind the video, you can see there weren't a bunch of people here. They're not all bad, though. Some of them are, I believe, are supportive. They just want to make sure nothing happens. But most of them are bad. They, they work with the police to try to ostracize. You see? They try to ostracize me. Like, I'm, I'm in a new town. But they're doing this. They're like, they're gang stalkers. I mean, if you want to break it down to the what is going on, 
they're gang stalking. However, it's worse than gang stalking because they're using the police, you know, where as a normal person would get gang stalked by the people around them, which is horrible. They could call the police. If I call the police, they'll turn on me. People have already attacked me with vehicles I, and have injured me. I've been to the hospital. And then when I call, the cops take me and hold me there. And they let the person go, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll follow up on an investigation. It's all, it's all nonsense. So they're basically doing that. It's horrible, but we're, we're, we turned it into the auditing channel. This is why I bring it to you guys. I'm using my life and what's happening to me to audit police. Yeah. Now, once again, you saw in the video just now, not all police are bad. You saw that one officer cross him over. Uh, our car. We'll call that a crossover. Uh, well, for now, we're going to say a crossover is when, and it's something I've experienced several times already with a different PD. It's when they, when they pass by and they're like, hey, like, don't do that. Kind of like if your brother's doing wrong to somebody and then big sister, big brother comes back through and like, hey, like little brother, don't do that to him. Oh, okay. Like, okay, let me leave you alone. It's kind of like that. But only they have the power to do those things. Because if the police, if, if they all are completely 100% against you, well, you're going to have your hands full because um, that's the United States government completely trying to destroy you. And you're, you're not going to survive that. Uh, so God bless all the good officers out there, the ones who are serving us diligently. I met a sheriff just now, uh, probably about uh, five minutes before I started this video. I met a sheriff in uh, in an all subs right over there. I wish I had recorded that. He opened the door for me. So not all police are bad. And, and he's like, I said, are you are you a sheriff? Because I saw his badge on his uniform. He had a jacket. And um, he said, oh, well, I work with the sheriff's department. I said, well, thank you for your service. You're welcome. And then I walked a peaceful engagement. But then you got this guy who's like, came and came over here. Nah, nah, nah. You're like, you're not that. You're not getting respect. And that's just 100 percent against the United States Constitution. OK, you can't do that. I don't care if I if I was even had a well, not if I had a warrant because you got a warrant, then you, you definitely got problems with police. But it, it, I don't care if you have a case pending or anything. It doesn't matter. They have no right to do those things. And of course, I haven't I don't have anything wrong. So thank you guys. Uh, well, you know, you see my past and my past records, but uh, no, I don't have any felonies against me or no warrants or nothing like that. I'm a free citizen. I'm doing good. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time and uh, like and subscribe, please. And uh, we'll keep the video going.